Alex there for Skater D here, and uh, I realize it has been a bit of a hot minute since the last time I posted a video. Sorry about that. So here comes an update on my life and what I've been doing lately. First of all, this is the first time that it's not 90 degrees and it's not pouring down raining because it seems like we've been just having thunderstorm after thunderstorm all through April and now it's like the end of May and it's cloudy, it's gray. Thunderstorms predicted later in the week, 60 degrees, it's supposed to be nice, I guess, I don't know. I like it better when it's hotter, but that's just me. So what have I been doing in the last couple of weeks? Well, yeah, I've been skating as much as I can. Like I said, dodging the raindrops. You know, I like the DIY, so I've been working on a lot of sewing. In fact, the shorts that I'm wearing in this video, yeah, those are 100% those are DIY. I printed that graphic myself using linoleum cut blocks and screen printing ink and sewed them myself uh, because I couldn't find shorts that went past the knee that I liked. And I kind of wanted to take Hesh culture and Tiki culture and kind of merge those together and it's not really working out right so I, I don't know if I'm going to continue doing my own graphic printing as far as uh, fabric prints go. I might just buy what I'm looking for online because there's definitely plenty of examples out there. I'm thinking of doing more solids though and, and maybe like avoiding trying to print my own patterns because I'm not very fond of what comes out of what the results. You know, I'm trying to practice self-love and, and appreciate my efforts rather than focus on my mistakes. But it seems like I make a lot of mistakes. So I might just go with solids and try to focus on just making a nice pair of shorts in the length and size that I like. I don't really do denim. I kind of, I like more like a chino material. I like chino. I like, I like more like cocky material or uh, cotton twill that sort of thing. I like lighter fabrics because I feel like denim really weighs you down and not a huge fan of jorts, unfortunately. So I don't really do denim, I do other blends. As you can see in the video, I'm still skating the Vision deck. Love this deck. It's really, really grown on me. I missed surf skating, however, so I decided to get a new deck, the Sick Cat. More on that later. I'll probably do another video about that someday. Right now, I'm just, I'm enjoying this this cruiser deck that I built for rolling around the neighborhood and hitting some spots. And no, my skating hasn't improved at all, so unfortunately you're gonna see just basically a lot of the same thing. The only thing that's changed is, is that I'm, I go a little faster than I usually do. That's about it. And, and it feels a lot like no one really ever watches these videos because my counts are very low, but then I notice that I pick up new subscribers from time to time. I get comments from time to time, and I love, I love reading the comments, I love responding to the comments. I love the sense of community that you get when you have a large following because you you just develop a sense of camaraderie with people you get inside jokes you get you get that that feeling that you don't really get especially coming out of the pandemic where it's like everyone was just isolating and now everybody's coming together and it's like for me it just feels like I'm not really hanging out with people as much as I used to you know I never really skated with a group of people it's always been just me so if you know, being on Twitter and being on YouTube and interacting with other skaters online is what I need to feel that sense of community and to feel like I have other people to skate with, then that's that's why I do this. That's what this is for, is so that we can keep up with each other from a long distance, even, even though we've never met. I'm always interested in seeing how like Adventures in Skating Over 40 is doing. I'm always, there's a couple of other people that I follow that I'm, I'm always interested in what they're doing and how their lives are going. I, I hope it's the same, I hope it's mutual. So basically that's why I do these vlogs, that's why I make these updates, even though I'm not really trying to build a brand or become an influencer, just because I realize that's kind of a pipe dream that's never gonna happen. But it is nice to have other people to interact with, and it's nice to, to get that sense of community and camaraderie, uh, because we're all brothers and sisters in skating. That's how we roll. Anyway, have a great day. Skater D out.